So this region around the Humber really is at the forefront of the UK for green energy now. We've got the advancement of wind farms and of course we've got biofuels and we're the leading business in this region as it sort of regenerates itself and moves into a new era. So the shareholders in Vivergo are Associated British Foods, ABF, BP and DuPont, with ABF and BP being the majority shareholders. So what we do is we take in animal feed wheat and we turn it into fuel for our cars and feed for cattle. So what surrounds us in this region is uh, very highly sustainable farming. It's got some of the best yields of wheat in the world. We've got over two million tonnes of feed wheat that's ready on our doorstep to use. I'm a fourth generation farmer in East Yorkshire. We farm roughly a thousand acres. The biggest crop we grow acreage wise is wheat. We grow feed wheat, which means it's wheat grown to feed to cattle and pigs rather than bread making wheat. And the reason for that is because the yields we get are high and the protein gets diluted. And to produce good loaves, you have to have high protein wheat, which we can't grow. We grow the wheat and harvest it and dry it and put it into store. And then when we sell it, we sell it to Frontier, who then sell it on to Vivergo for our end use of the product we produce is the perfect scenario. The wheat will be coming from somewhere between 50 to 80 miles radius of the plant. So it's a really great opportunity to supply wheat which would predominantly have been exported to a good local home. We take that feed wheat, we bring it into the factory and the first thing we do is we test it to make sure it meets all of our specifications. We bring it forward and then we simply turn it into flour. So we add some yeast and we brew beer. We then take it and we distill it. And the reason why we distill it is to take the ethanol and take that to very pure, because that's going to go into the fuel. And the second part we do is take all that fibre and protein that's left, we dry it and pelletise it and that goes off to feed the cattle. So these are our animal feed pellets and roughly half of the local wheat that comes to the plant ends up back in this form which will then go straight back out to some of the same farms that it came from. And this can support roughly 20% of the UK dairy herd. It's keeping UK wheat in the UK but it's converting it into something that's much more usable and much more valuable. We produce about a third of the UK's needs for, for bioethanol into petrol in 2013-2014 will be one of the biggest uh, bioethanol producers in Europe, certainly the biggest in the UK. So the greenhouse gas savings that we achieve from our fuel when we compare it to petrol, when we're fully operational, we can achieve over 50% saving on the carbon dioxide that comes out the tailpipe of the car, which in real terms is equivalent to taking about 180,000 cars off the road annually. As a responsible producer of biofuels, we need to be able to demonstrate exactly where all of the wheat came from. We also then need to be able to demonstrate exactly how much energy was used from the original field through to your car engine. So I think if you look at the Hull and Humber region, the area never really recovered from the collapse of the fishing industry. And I think there's a lot of hope that the renewable energy sector can provide a real boost. Growing up in the local area, it's great to be able to play a part in that. So in being able to set a business up of this scale and size, one of the big opportunities we've had is to recruit a whole new team. The training has been second to none. Really enjoyed commissioning the plant and learning how to actually run it as well. Yeah, we're in a fabulous place. I've got a great team. We think it's important that uh, when we invest in biofuels, we can show that it's really biofuels done well. For us, that means it's done at scale, at prices that will be competitive with, uh, with crude oil, it's sustainable. Vivergo is going to be a, a great business, a very strong asset.